3D printers used to be a very niche product that was complicated and honestly a kind of a headache for most people. But now they have become so fast easy and really something that anyone can use. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you why I think if you've never used a 3D printer, now is the best time to get one. I recently picked up the Bamboo Labs A1 and this video is not sponsored by them. I purchased this myself and I've really enjoyed it. It is so easy to use and uh, it, it changed my opinion of 3D printing. It is one that I could recommend to anyone to get started because it's so easy. You don't have to play with any settings, really hassle-free. You put the thing together, you put some filament on it, find a print, you turn it on, and it is good to go. I'll put a link in the description to the A1. The A1 combo, which includes the AMS light, and with that, you can do multicolor prints. So you could have four different colors if you want. There are so many different color filaments and various materials that you can print with. The most common filament is PLA and it comes in all different colors. You have translucent, silk, multicolor. I like to use the matte finish. In my case, I have uh, two of the same colors on there. So if one spool runs out, it'll automatically switch over to that same color on the other spool. Now, the first reason to get a 3D printer is that that it's so easy to find prints that other people have already designed. Now, one of the things I like about the A1 is Bamboo Lab has Maker World, and you go and visit that site, you can find all kinds of designs. You can find cases for phones, AirPods, mounts, uh, toys, organization tools. You can pretty much find anything that you're looking for there. And what's cool, is that you can actually uh, just select either through the web browser or on your phone, you can select a print, you can send it to your uh, printer, you can pick which filament uh, color you want, or if you just have one filament, it'll default to that. Hit start, printer will download that file and it will level itself, it'll uh, do its calibration, and then print it out for you. It is so easy now to find prints. You don't need to design your own, and you can create a profile and save collections of prints, of things you might wanna print out later. And I have a bunch of items that I'm thinking of printing, from cable management, uh, to organization, to um, cases for my Nintendo Switch games. There really are a lot of options in there. Here's a demo of finding a print. You start off on the home page. You can just do a search and find something. Let's say I want to do an AirPods case. I can type that in, hit search, and there are a ton of them. I can select that. And if I like the design of it, I can scroll through the photos. Okay, great. I like the look of that. I can go hit prepare print. I have my printer, the A1 selected. And from here, it has the plate that it prints on. And now I wanna pick my color. I don't have TPU. I just wanna print it in black. So I print it in black. There's a preview of what it's going to print. And then I it's set up so that it'll do one copy. Bed leveling, so it's all leveled out. Uh, calibration, so it's flowing filament nicely. And then I hit start print, and that's it. It's gonna send it to the printer and go. So let's start the print and take a look at it in action. Here's the case printing out. And if you look in there, there's these little tree type things. Those are supports. Since there's the big open space for the AirPods that go in, you need something to support the, the case, the top of the case. So that's where supports are in there. And then when you're done printing, you'll pop those out so that you have the open case for the AirPods. Here's a look at the case, it turned out well. If you pop it open, you can see the light right there. And just to show you, in order to do this curve and to have this supported, that's where these supports come in. So that this is on the printer and it holds up that while it's being printed. And for the bottom, you have these larger tree supports in there that hold it up. Another reason I think it's fun to get a 3D printer, it's great to want 
for people who want to make something. I'm no good with word, woodworking or painting or a lot of other creative outlets there, but uh, with 3D printing, I can find something that's useful to me, send it off to the printer, and I am creating something out of a spool of filament. It's kind of mesmerizing, at least to me, just watching it go and do its thing and how quickly it just creates something out of a spool of plastic. It can be a great creative outlet for DIY lovers. You know, there's a, there's a problem that you need to solve, Use uh, use the 3D printer and you can solve it. I made a couple of these mounts for the HomePod Mini so that I could place one in the kitchen and it is in white. This one is going to go in my bathroom in black and uh, really easy. Just found a design I like and printed them out. And that leads me into the next reason. It's solving everyday problems. I wanted a MagSafe mount that could mount to my monitor. So I found a design I liked. I printed it out and uh, put some double stick tape on it, put the MagSafe in it. Now it's one less item on my desk. I was even able to tweak it. I wanted the mount twisted a little uh, for a better viewing angle. So I just heated up the filament with the hairdryer to soften it up and just twist it and let it cool down. I have some dumbbells that I had cracked one of the pieces inside and I could have ordered the part from Amazon for like $25. Well, I just did a search and uh, found a website which there's websites like Thingiverse and Things that people put all kinds of prints on. But I was able to find this specific piece. I printed it out myself and installed it and saved myself $25. Plus, I was able to fix something that was broken. I needed a new knob for my stove, so instead of ordering a five pack of knobs, I just uh, printed out one uh, to fix it myself. With a 3D printer, you can solve problems you didn't even know you had. Another reason to get one is that it can save you money on stuff, like I mentioned with that replacement part for my dumbbell. But you can go and you can print yourself out a stand for your phone. For my iPad, I wanted a low profile stand for it. So I found one I liked and it's perfect. If you want cable organizers or cable clips, print them out yourself. You need some chip clips for a few cents, you print out some. The other day I thought about, I didn't want to dull my knife opening up packages. So I printed out some little mat knives, a couple of them, and they take standard razor blades. So I just printed out the parts and assembled them and now I have some extra little knives around so I can just open up packages. And it cost me a few cents. I didn't have to go buy, you know, a metal one. One of the things I like was organizing stuff. I was able to print out some bins and I actually used a program that's pretty easy too because it's basically a rectangle and another rectangle to create the open space. But I was able to print out bins to the exact size I want. Or my uh, Lego collection because I, I like Lego and now it's so satisfying I pull open the bin it fits in there just perfectly I also took advantage of this system called Gridfinity that you print out a grid and then all different boxes and containers and stuff can be printed that lock into this grid. And so many people have made custom stuff for Gridfinity. I printed out for my Leatherman a perfectly sized cutout for it that my Leatherman goes in. And then there's a, a tape measure holder that holds my tape measure perfectly and my calipers for measuring out projects and stuff. It's, it's pretty impressive. If you need it, someone probably has made a Gridfinity thing for it. Or you just go with generic bins that I printed out too. Organization's kind of fun when you got a 3D printer. You just send it right off, nice easy print. Another reason to get into 3D printing is it's a great community of people who are helping other people out. Go to the Bamboo Lab on Reddit, the subreddit, and if you have questions, people are there to help you out. If you have issues, they oh, will help you out. It really is, there's so many resources now and people helping people that it, it's fun to do. You can find pretty much whatever you need. So people far more talented than myself and creative are designing great stuff all the time. You will be surprised how much stuff is out there. A camera that came out, I think, 
three months ago, a smart home camera. I wanted to uh, put a camera to watch my 3D printer so I can check in and see if prints are still printing out fine or if it's still going. So a $35 smart camera from Macara. The G100, I typed that in to Maker World. Somebody made a mount for it. So I replaced the stand on there, put the mount on there, slid it on the printer, perfect view of my print. So anytime I can check to see if it's still going or if the print somehow went wrong, uh, which knock on bamboo, uh, so far that has not happened. Now a lot of people on my channel are into the smart home. This is where you can make, you can find all different mounts for your smart devices. Here's a cover for my Acara smart button. It is a little two piece thing. I just put this inside, just line up the LED with the hole in there and put it on top. Now I have a black button instead and it still works fine. Another project I have that I found is uh, printing out these little tracks for LED strips. Initially, I printed them out and they were a little too small to fit the strip in and a little too short. So I increased the, uh, the size 110%, so 10% bigger. And then I made it slightly longer, all within the Bamboo Studio app. Now I could fit the strips in there. And what's great is these uh, use these little pegs here to join them together. You print out the little frosted um, little diffuser in white and you can uh, join as many of them together as you need to. So I'll print out four of these, join them up, run the strips through them and I will have the light that I need. If you have a video doorbell and you need it angled, most likely you could look up that video doorbell and someone's creating an angle bracket for it. It's so easy to grab prints now. I feel like I'm accomplishing something when I'm printing out things, even though I didn't do all the hard work of making the print. If you've ever debated whether to get a 3D printer or not, and you're a beginner, you're worried about it, it, it is really the best time to give it a shot. It has never been easier. And just, if you go watch any, go look up Bamboo Lab A1 or A1 Mini, and you, you, people are raving about it. But as a true beginner who bought this myself, I, I definitely can endorse this one. But anyways, if you're thinking about getting a 3D printer, uh, let us know in the comment section and what kind of stuff uh, do you want to print out? If you made it this far, please consider subscribing, giving this video a like. Also, think about becoming a channel member. You get the member Discord, member live streams, and member videos. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.